Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to teach you how you can use a very interesting and important Linux command called grep. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually grep stands for global regular expression print and it allows you to search or find a string or a button in a file. So I will show you how. So as you can see here, I am in my desktop directory. So if I do list, okay, list minus L is better. So you can see here, I have a couple of files and a directory called folder one. So we start just easy. So we have file one. So let's say that we want to find the word hello in that file. So we just type grep hello you can put the string inside the code if you want hello and then the file name which is file one okay so actually now i'm gonna search for the word hello inside file one and then i hit enter as you can see now it shows me the line that contain that word hello so if I want to verify that, I have to display the file. So if I do cut file one, yes, it contains three lines and hello world is the line that contains my hello world. Okay. So now, as you can see here, it has displayed the hello world or the hello keyword in red. So let's say, for example, we want to obtain the file or the word, the line that contains this word here. So I have just to add here as an option minus N. So minus N will also display the, file, the line number. Okay, I'll show you. So here it displayed number two, which means my keyword hello actually is online too so let the, let do the same thing with the file 2 for example so grip minus n grip minus n and the word i'm looking for it's hello and the file name which is file 2 oh as you can see here this file contains three occurrences of the keyword hello. Oh, that's good. I would verify that. So I just type cut file two. Yes, indeed, it contains three occurrences of the keyword hello. Let's see that I want just the number of occurrences of that word. I don't want. Uh, uh, I don't want grip to show me the lines actually I want just to know how many times the keyword hello appears in that file so it's pretty easy all you have to do is to replace minus n by minus c as you can see now it just displays number three which is the numbers of time the keyword hello appears okay now let's say for example that we want just to know which files contain this keyword here hello so i can do that simply so we add here as an option minus l and here we make asterisk asterisk means it will lock the entire directory here which is desktop and it will just display the file names that contain the keyword hello. So if I just hit enter, as you can see here, file one and file two contain my keyword hello. But if you notice, I have a folder here, folder one, which is also contain a file that has the keyword hello, but it didn't show here. Yes, because you have to keep in mind that grip 
doesn't look inside the folder. So if you want to grip to look also inside your subfolders, you have to add an option here called R, which stands for recurse. So if I add option R and I hit enter, now it's telling me that also the file tree which inside folder one contains the keyword hello. So if I want to verify that, it's better to go to this directory folder one and just type to cut file tree. As you can see, yes, it contains also the keyword hello. Now we return back to our file two and we try to find this keyword here, hello. File two. Okay. So now let's say I want the grip to display the line that doesn't contain the keyword hello. So the reverse thing. So it's also very easy. All we have to do is to add as an option minus V, which stands for reverse. So using this command, it will display the line that doesn't contain the keyword hello. We can add also the option N to display the, the line numbers. And yes, as you can see here, we are missing the lines that contain the keyword hello, which, which are line 2, line 5, and line 8. If we do it without uh, the V option, yes, 2, 5, 8 are the lines that contain the keyword hello. So it's pretty interesting comment that you can use in order to find a string or a pattern inside a file or a directory. So it was just a quick introduction to this grip comment and as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.